Even to you there, uh, uh, Julia 88 uh, uh, Delta uh, Mike, uh, this is uh, nine uh, Zulu for uh, Whiskey Delta um, saying uh, good evening. I just set up uh, the, uh, this platform here on my laptop. So um, my first contact, uh, I'll copy over. Uh, are you from Trinidad or Tobago? Uh, give us your location uh, near the country. Uh, here the name is Rani, as you can see probably on, on your screen there. And uh, we're transmitting uh, currently out of Kingstown, St. Vincent, right? Uh, good evening to you there, Rani. Uh, uh, nice to make a paint on this evening. Uh, the, my name here is Philip. Uh, uh, Papa Hotel India, Lima, India, Papa. Uh, I'm transmitting out of uh, the labor city um, of Faisabad, in the southern part of the island of Trinidad. We had a nice uh, Labor Day celebration yesterday, uh, which was a holiday here on the island. Um, a rainy day, but nevertheless, uh, that didn't uh, prevent uh, uh, the celebration from taking place. Uh, nine uh, Zulu four uh, uh, whiskey delta over. Hey, I copy you. I understand today's a holiday as well. I was talking to Deb this morning. Um, he was telling me that today is also a holiday. Yeah, when we are at work, we we um, have this going on for some uh, a few weeks or so, and uh, quite a lot of contacts I must say. Most most of the contacts that I see on this particular room, which is the TGF nine six nine, is mostly Trinidad, few of the Caribbean islands are in it as well. Not a whole lot. And uh, time after time, you have some international contact as well. So, uh, not a bad um, room at all. And Deb was telling me yesterday, he recently got it linked to uh, some additional digital moves. So, when you're actually on this, you can uh, be cross platforming, so to speak. Right? Uh, <clears throat> yes, when he, well, I was uh, introduced to this uh, uh, the platform the peanut platform recently and uh, I was on with uh, Dev and the rest of the group here yesterday when I um, installed it on my desktops um, so this afternoon I downloaded the the, the platform and uh, set it up here on my my laptop so um, I have the modes running on all three of my computers here um, so it's interesting uh, the first uh, DX contact I made was uh, um, a station down in, the, in uh, Sydney in uh, Sydney Australia I was very much happy I did so while testing it on the desktop. So I have a lot of time on my hands now uh, that I have retired. I am um, a retired school principal. You know, I taught in the public schools for some 40 odd years. Uh, retired in 2013 and I was able to get my ham license. Uh, <coughs> which I started somewhere in the in the 70s there uh, and dropped out uh, uh, <laughs> you know for some reason but with the encouragement of uh, a couple of the other hamsters here uh, around personal friends you know I take another shot at it there uh, and, um, and uh, here I am uh, over to you there uh, Julia did it uh, uh, Delta Mike uh, 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 Rennie from uh, Nine Zulu uh, for Whiskey Delta. Uh, over. Yeah, 
time yan, eh, man. Well, who gonna do this if you visit uh, the land of the blessed, St. Vincent? Um, we, we visited Barbados not too long ago as well. Um, actually transmitted out of Barbados on nuts. Um, had it on my phone and was chit-chatting a bit there with, with Dev. And, um, it's all good, man. You can walk with peanuts now in your pocket. <laughs> and still have connection. Wherever you go with, with the hams, that's the beauty of peanuts. And with this um, room that you're in again, make it even more interesting because uh, you know you're, cross, you're cross-platforming uh, with the various digital modes, E4, FM, uh, DM, and, and all the others. So um, you tend to get out there a little more than just having a regular radio. But it's always good to have a, a RF radio with you as well. Uh, sometimes you might not necessarily be in an environment where you have Wi-Fi or you might have um, access to data and so forth. So uh, walking along with a little RF radio is always neat to have there. Go ahead. Uh, certainly there, are any. But I've, 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 um, <clears throat> I've spoken to many of uh, the other West Indian islands uh, in the early days, uh, 70s, 80s, uh, 90s, uh, more on 11 meter band, and um, <clears throat> um, especially when propagation is running here. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I've been there since the 70s. And finally, now I'm on HF. Um, and so, so it's good to know. I'm also on Ecolink. I, I um, downloaded Ecolink and uh, have it set up also um, <coughs> on my computers. Um, right now, I'm doing a video, uh, video gate of our contact. Uh, post it up a bit later on my Facebook page. Um, <laughs> I love to do these video gates and uh, uh, of my activities. Uh, now I have retired. So hopefully you may get a chance to look at it and hear yourself uh, uh, down here in, the, in on the Hummingbird Island on Peanuts. Uh, over to you there, Juliet88 uh, Delta Mike uh, from uh, 9 uh, Zulu 4 Whiskey Delta. Yeah, okay, all right. Sounds like you're a busy man still, uh, even though that you're retired. What's the, what's the name of your Facebook page that you, you post these videos to so I can have a look at it, right? Okay, Renny, my full personal is uh, Philip. Uh, uh, the second personal is Farzan, uh, Foxrot, uh, uh, Romeo, Alpha, um, Zulu, Alpha, November. Uh, Farzan and the last uh, personal is Ali as Muhammad Ali, Alpha Lima, India. Over. Okay, so just look for your fourth and last name on Facebook and we should, we should be able to find you, eh? Um, okay. Well, there are, there are probably a lot of alleys around there. So my my profile picture is um, I'm standing in front of uh, uh, my racing car. I used to be in automobile racing in my youthful days here in front of that. And uh, um, I'm standing uh, alongside uh, uh, 12, uh, uh, Datsun 1200 GX, uh, the old push engines engine, uh, competition number decided the car would be 140. So um, you would see that there. Um, also, I have another. Um, I have another account which is Alibaba, and uh, on that uh, you'd see my old two cars, which was a 1275 GT Mini 140 in the profile picture and also the 1200 GX uh, 140 uh, so you would recognize uh, me there from from uh, from those indicators there. 
Uh, Juliet uh, 88 uh, Delta Mike from uh, 9 Zulu 4 or Whiskey Delta over. Yeah, well, we are ready for you. I was actually looking to uh, some of the posting that you make here. I think the last one you did was uh, sometime uh, yesterday. The front of the march on the way to say what's that word? Fezabad Junction. I, I, I don't know if I have the right pronunci pronunciation there. But uh, yeah, you also see that you made a post here with one of your high handy. Have you seen? Have you seen the rain? I get drenched this morning, and I see in front of your uh, high handy there, Papa Delta Bravo six three three six. Uh, go ahead. Yes, Renny. <laughs> Yes, I did there because um, uh, <coughs> actually, I, I, you, you know, sometimes I have one uh, one of the computers on Facebook uh, while the other one is dedicated to research and music and so forth. And uh, now I set up the laptop here, so I'm on uh, <coughs> on peanuts here, so I can monitor peanuts and uh, you know, having not to switch screens and so. Um, so uh, I'll be free. Um, I also have uh, one of the computers uh, dedicated to my to my uh, to my radio, so I could work the radio of the computer. Um, <coughs> so my my rig there, uh, two meters, and also the the HF. I have one of those um, the Kenwood the Kenwood uh, two thousand radio. So I, I work that off my computer because the radio is a little way off, um, you know, from uh, the computer desk. So I, I do all the operations there from my computer there. Uh, nine, uh, Juliet 88 uh, Delta Mike from 9 Zulu 4 uh, Whiskey Delta. Over. Yeah, okay, copy you. So tell me, I see you have a lot of cars here. I see a car as well, um, nine Number 98, no, I'm sorry. It looks like a coupe. It looks like a mini, what we used to put a mini uh, a year ago. Uh, I think it mark uh, your name. No, it's not your name. Uh, something not happen. I'm not seeing the full thing, so I'm um, just telling you a white vehicle. Uh, so I'm just wondering if you do. We did a lot of racing in, in your time. Well, it looks so now I'm going through them. I'm seeing 140. I'm seeing 99. And a quite, quite a number of other vehicles I'm seeing you next to. So, uh, same as though. You are really into some high mileage there, go ahead. <laughs> yes, Rene, that, as I said, that is in my youthful days. Uh, there, uh, my my favorite cars were the minis. Um, the minis, uh, you know, I, I used to do my own um, mechanical work. Um, the... The engine, I used to do all my work on the engine. I, I still have all the tools and so here. <laughs> yes, so the minis and then uh, later on uh, the Nissan cars. Uh, and most of those vehicles, uh, you know, they, they were pushrod, pushrod engines. And um, well, presently, um, I own, I, I also have a, a Subaru, you know, that's the one I move around. Uh, with um, all the time, the Subaru, and um, the one that you see, the red one there, well, that is parked up most of the time um, uh, here at home. It is Tiptronic is both uh, manual and automatic, but I love working my gears. <laughs> yes, Renny, I, well, I, I'm not 100% health-wise, uh, so I, I'm kind of restricted 
the mood uh, no uh, i'm in my twilight um i'm, I'm just uh, i'm 65 years i'm 65 years young <laughs> so most of those pictures there are in uh, are from uh, around uh, the 70s and around the 80s uh, maybe the last time i was on the circuit there was around 1989 uh, when I, I retired from active uh, uh, driving on the wall of field circuit uh, um, over to you there uh, Juliet 88 uh, uh, Delta Mike uh, from uh, 9 uh, Zulu 4 Whiskey Delta uh, over well <laughs> I, I, I remember uh, doing um, while I was working while I was uh, teaching in a school uh, for in the further uh, part uh, down in the southwestern uh, peninsula uh, <clears throat> around the 70s um, I pursued auto and diesel auto and diesel engineering so after the classroom in the daytime in the late evenings I attended um, <clears throat> the, uh, the technical school um, where I did the auto and diesel so I uh, know pretty much uh, in in the early days there was a guy from uh, St. Vincent Bex uh, Bex uh, is it Bex Gonzalez but uh, I can remember Bex a very tall guy um, <laughs> he used to be racing in in, in Wallerfield um, there around that time, uh, I can uh, distinctly uh, recall him because uh, he was um, <clears throat> he was adjacent to me uh, in the pits. Um, his spot was uh, just uh, adjacent to where um, <clears throat> where my spot was in the pits there. So um, you know we became uh, friends. I don't know if you. If you can recall uh, that guy from way back uh, when, uh, um, I don't know, probably uh, you, 
you uh, um, <laughs> you you were uh, um, you were very young probably probably around 10 12 years because you seem very uh, young there um, over Yeah, uh, QSL, well, you know, Bex, uh, Bex Conserve, uh, I know he used to build his own vehicles and have them fiberglass and all of that. Uh, I remember a guy working with him called Jack, Jack um, Knight, he was his mechanic. Jack Knight used to go with him wherever he go. And um, currently, Bex Conserve is doing a couple of business here in St. Vincent. Uh, right now, he's running the franchise for Subway. So if you went uh, to Subway in St. Vincent, or if you visit St. Vincent anytime and you go to Subway, that's actually his franchise. He lives in an area called Dorsetshire Hill. Um, I used to walk on top of that hill when I used to work with the Tango Victor company, the television company which is SVG Broadcasting. And also his neighbor is the one who used to race as well. That was Paul McLeish uh, back in the days, that's way back. Um, I'm not sure if he used to mention it out as well, but he was also into racing, but he's now into Tel Tango Victor. So he, he's running the, the St. Vincent Tango and the Broadcasting Corporation, which is the television station. And on your way up while going to work, you will pass back. Bex is living uh, not too far from uh, the top of the hill, so such a hill. So, um, to, to confirm, yes, I know, I know Bex don't start there. Go ahead. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would think they do. A small island there, uh, definitely. <laughs> um, because uh, he used to drive. Uh, one of those single seaters, um, the Formula cars. He had one of those that um, he used to partake in the Formula racing here. Yes, <coughs> um, yeah, the other guy there. Yeah, there they, they were two of them. There were two of them. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's certainly nice to hear that. Uh, you know, um, the fellas uh, who used. Used to participate in, in racing. Now their children and grandchildren. <laughs> so we are all stages there. So we we are in the background. <laughs> we are in the background, and uh, and uh, the youths have taken over there. Uh, Juliet 88 uh, Delta Mike uh, from Arania uh, from a nine uh, Zulu uh, for whiskey Delta uh, over. Uh, 904 Whiskey Delta, Juliet, it is Delta Mike returning. Yeah, well, um, that's how it is, man. Um, generation to come will not be doing what you used to be doing, you know, and it might be into other stuff as well, but it's good to know that some people still stick with um, what you have, uh, what you've been doing in the past. I mean, times change and things change, so, you know, you tend to move with the flow. Always good to keep your hands on to what makes you who you are today, you know. Always good to look back a bit on your past and involve yourself in some of the activities that your past uh, uh, mother and father or elderly brothers and sisters was, was uh, you know, in part of, you know, because um, that is what makes you who you are today. <laughs> uh, that's your history, man. All right, well, uh, that's good, man. It's good to know that we know some people that you know as well. So um, next time you visit uh, St. Vincent, I'm quite sure you'll meet Vex. Uh, we know exactly where he's living and everything, so it's not a problem getting you there. So um, hope that you visit sometime. It's a very small country, not as big as Trinidad, but uh, I'm quite sure it will remind you a lot of Trinidad in certain areas. Quite hilly, mountainous, uh, um, rivers, not rivers, but uh, we have a few rivers as well. And of course, we have volcanic. You guys have the pitch lake, 
we have a volcano. You guys have a lot of mud volcanoes, I understand. So, um, we're similar in nature. Similar in nature, where you guys are a republic and uh, are definitely a larger country than St. Vincent. Don't forget, we have the Grenadines as well. A number of little islands belonging to St. Vincent, uh, stretching as far back to the uh, northern tip of um, Grenada. So, uh, when you visit, make time to put some island keeping as well there, right? I certainly will there, uh, Renny, and um, <laughs> well, it's uh, nice to meet you um, here this evening and um, uh, testing it out, um, the platform peanuts. Uh, <clears throat> I spoke to a couple of the guys around there, but uh, uh <laughs> you know, some of, some, some of them, uh, you know, still they prefer the old RF uh, um, <clears throat> contacts, you know. But uh, it's, it's nice, uh, you know, uh, making the contacts uh, uh, using uh, uh, using the internet there, and it's much much easier. And you go uh, long distances um, at any time without any outside interference. Um, it's raining here now on the outside. Um, we have been having some uh, showers um, intermittently uh, during the course of the day. So right and now outside it's it's raining. I can hear the raindrops uh, falling on the roof here um, at the moment. So uh, let me um, sign off with you here, um, Rennie. It sure has been a pleasure uh, making contact with you there and definitely uh, I hope to catch you on uh, the HF uh, uh, frequency uh, sometime, um, or probably on uh, two meters. Uh, I, I can access uh, the Grenada repeater from my location down here. I did uh, some time ago, and um, there was uh, <coughs> a network going on, and uh, I think the net control there was from Barbados. So, you know, I, I, I can try one of these days. Uh, I don't know if you, uh, you, um, you, can, you access the Grenada uh, repeater also there. Uh, Juliet 88 uh, Delta Mike from 9 Zulu 4 Whiskey Delta, over. Yeah, okay. Here, so, yeah, we, we, we do have access into the Grenada repeater. And the Grenada repeater is also linked to Barbados. Uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, I think. So once you hit the Grenada uh, repeater, which is the 146, uh, what is it again? 146940, I think it is. I can't remember offhand. But I have it in my radio. So once you access the Grenada repeater, um, you get into Barbados and St. Lucia as well. Um, St. Vincent's repeater is currently not 100%. They have some RF problems with some commercial radios that's close by. But um, we will definitely make the link. Um, we will usually be on uh, 3815 monitoring. Uh, that's um, Caribbean weather and emergency um, net. So you can catch us there on 3815 on 80 meters. So uh, take it easy and uh, have a good one from Juliet. It is uh, the mic. All the best, Philip, uh, and uh, we'll cross the wild later on. Centuries. Okay, Renny. Uh, thanks very much uh, for the contact uh, uh, there and uh, letting me know that uh, you, everything is uh, set up uh, correctly. We're definitely looking forward to talking to you again. And now that I know uh, you are uh, <laughs> in the uh, in the room here. Uh, most of the time, monitoring. I will definitely look for you uh, from time to time. So do have yourself a wonderful evening and uh, looking forward to catching you, uh, as I said, sometime later down the log. Uh, Juliet 88, uh, Delta Mike, uh, Renny, uh, this is uh, 9 uh, Zulu 4 Whiskey Delta Philip here, southern part of the island of Trinidad, saying 73s. Bye bye. Thank you, Tim Trees. All the best. Uh,
Julia Pippet, uh, Delta Mike, uh, QIT and Danny Bay.